welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. If you're not already subscribed, hit the sub button and the notification bell, and then you'll be notified when any of my new videos get uploaded. So grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks or a hot chocolate or a pumpkin spice latte, whatever you feel. Um, mine's a water because I've got heartburn at the moment with a baby. Um, so mine is in my Heart Emma Bridgewater Bro Row mug. Um, that's my nickname, but I'm drinking it this way for some reason. So Today's haul is a mix up. So I always do this, I do just like a buys of the week kind of thing. So I go to a couple of little shops and pick up a few essentials or bits that I need. Um, but it doesn't quite warrant each a haul each. So I'll just sort of put them together in a bit of a bit of a scrambled haul. So I popped to Ikea. So me and Gary went to London. I took him for his birthday to go see a theatre show. It was amazing. Um, but we'd been let down by delivery on that day from Ikea. Um, so I rang them up, got refunded. And then on the way home, because we was coming all the way home from London anyway, I said to Gary, shall we pop into the lakeside Ikea and grab a few bits that we needed? So I managed to get everything from the order. We also got a cot from there and a few other bits from Millie's bedroom, but obviously I'll show you then when we're doing the reveal of the bedrooms. So I'm gonna show you a few bits from Ikea and then I also picked up a couple bits from Hobbycraft and then home bargains as well. So let's get in first and show you the Ikea bits. So the first things I picked up is, how can you go to Ikea and not pick up food storage <laughs> from their sort of like area where they have all, you know, what's it called? The, uh, the oh, what is that called? <laughs> My mind's gone blank. What's it called? You have the showroom and then you have the, I don't know, a shopping hall. Yeah, the no, I'm thinking of the food hall. I'm thinking of the bit where they do food, sorry. Brain fart just completely went out of my head. So I picked up a few of these. Now my cupboards are full of organization like this. I wanted to get a few more of the square ones and um, because I am really into food prep. And these are amazing because if you take the lids off, the glass ones, you can actually dishwash, you can put them in the oven, you can put them in the microwave. And I think, and the dishwasher, I think they're really, really good. So you can prep food in these, you can make up a dish or something, put it in the fridge, and then you can also then oven cook it straight away or microwave it in this container. So these are £2.50 for the large sort of square taller ones. They do do the shallower ones. I always opt for the wooden lids. I think they look really cute, um, but you can get plastic lids in there as well and they're cheaper. So the lid is £2, so that together it was £4.50, but... This is kind of a saver for me because I obviously make a lot of my food in large batches. So I picked up two of the smaller circles as well. So these are more of the shallow circles. Put them together, I don't know why. There we go. So these are £1.75 each. Um, I got these and I've got the little wooden lids to go on them as well. All the lids are £2. Um, so I've got these lids. So these work out £3.75 for the smaller ones. They're really, really cute. I understand some people might say they're cheaper in other places like Home Bargains and B&M, but just check because not all of them can actually go in the oven or be microwaved, so you've just got to be a bit careful. I don't mind paying a bit extra if I can actually use them. I did get a Pyrex dish from Home Bargains the other week, and that can even be frozen as well. Um, so I've got one of those. I'm going to go back and get some more. There was about £4.99 for a large one, but they will be perfect, especially as babies come in. I can make a few lasagnas and pasta bakes and stews and stick them in the freezer so they can just be popped in really easy. So I picked up those and can you say you've been to Ikea if you do not pick up the typical Stacey Solomon um, <laughs> fabric softener sort of like glass bottles? This isn't going to be used in my utility room. I will be using this in my cupboard. Um, so as it comes to sort of this kind of season where it starts to get colder, I make lots of stews and I always put like pearl of barley in my stews. So I've got a little label coming off of Etsy, if I can remember the lady, I'll pop her in in the description box because um, I've got something I'm going to show you anyway and you'll be able to see the labels. So these were £2.50 and I'm just going to pop my pearl of barley in here. When I do a stew, I could just tip some out into the stew an hour before it's ready to be cooked. So yeah, got one of these ones. I also picked up, speaking of space, <laughs> Stacey Solomon, I'm sorry, I'm so out of breath at the minute. Oh, I went to see the midwife yesterday and she was like, your irons dropped quite a bit. And I don't know if that's why I'm out of breath, but I'm feeling really tired. Like everything is a struggle. And my blood pressure was okay yesterday, even though it was low before. So that was kind of an excuse to be out of breath. Now I think it is just, I'm literally eight months pregnant. Maybe she's not got much space. Um, but speaking of Stacey Solomon, 
had also picked up a Fedgka. So I love these and I love this rosemary type one. It looks really realistic. I've got a few of these around the house. But what I did want to show you is, is you have to, people tend to think you've got to buy a standard size pot for these. Like, you know, like, because the, the leaves stick out like that. So you couldn't fill them out in a bigger pot. Um, but what I do is, I don't think people know this. You can actually pull these off. I can put them, you can pop them back on as well individually so you can put them in little tiny pots they can go back on but what i like to do is get that floral foam that you can get from home bargains and spread them out show you what sorry i'm gonna go and grab it because i bought an extra one of those and i've put it in a plant pot that i got and it's quite a large round surface plant pot and um, it's quite a large surface area now if that had been that, you might not have thought that was gonna fill that up, but I just spread it out, and it looks really, really nice in there now, really realistic. Um, so it's definitely worth getting them, taking them out, and then spreading them out a little bit. And sometimes you might not need to buy as many if you've got little pots as well. Um, so I've got the rosemary one. I did actually buy Millie um, some like grass ones, and then like a hanging ivy, um, but they're up in her room, so obviously I'll show you them when we do the room reveal. Second thing I picked up when I was in, second thing, we're on to like the fifth thing, Rosie. But I picked up some photo frames. So these photo frames, I don't know what they're called. Um, I should have said what the names were of everything. Does it say? Oh, I don't actually say. I don't know the names of these. I can link them below if they're on the IKEA website for you. I can put the links below to make it easier for you. If they sell them online, they'll be there. And if they're not, then obviously I won't put them on. So I wanted to get some nice white photo frames for the backdrop in my kitchen. I thought these were really lovely to put some black and white pictures in. Um, so I thought these look really classic. They've got all like the ribbed edges and they're shiny, so they're really easy to dust. And um, the small ones, I love that they all come with a mount inside as well. Um, so this is one of me going kids, <laughs> one of our random photos. But this size, it fits a six by four photograph in it. Um, you could fit a seven by five if you don't have the mount in it. Um, but these were five pound and you can take the back off and hang them on the wall or hang them that way. We've got the clips on them. And it did come with the leg that you can stand up as well, but I'm actually having them against the wall, so I just took the leg off because it gets in the way. They're five pound each. I've got three of those. And I've got one of this size, but I'm actually gonna go back and get more because it's really cute. So this is an eight by, I wanna say six picture, but I don't know how big you could fit this without the mount, but I really like the mount that comes in it. Um, so this was eight pound for this frame, but I just thought it was really, really cute. The size of the mount looks really expensive. I've kept this on it, but I'm gonna take it off. Um, and this is going on the wall as well. I thought this was really, really good value. Um, Cause the mounts you can buy separately, can't you, from some shops, it ends up working out a fortune. IKEA have them in ready. You don't have to worry about sizing. It tells you what size picture you can get. Like on the packaging, it says what size picture with the mount. And if you don't want the mount in, it also says what size picture you can have in it as well. I remember years ago, it used to be all like in Swedish, so it'd all be like different conversions. But now it's like centimeters and they actually go by standard photo sizing as well. I think that's inches. I'm not sure. Um, so I've got those. Before I get into the home bargains bit, I might as well show you these. I thought these were really, really sweet. So I went on to Hobbycraft. <laughs> How cute are these little twine pumpkins? They're quite heavy, I'm not gonna lie. And um, they're natural raffia pumpkins. You get a packet of four. I think they were 6 dollars oh, I don't know. I'll, I'll find them and put them in the description box because um, I don't know where I've put that receipt actually because I've left all the receipts on the counter just to double check apart from this one, typical. Um, it's the only thing I can't remember. Um, but they are really, really cute. They are so sweet. They're going to look really nice. Just sort of mixed up and put places with some foliage and I won't leave it like that, just one up there. <laughs> That's like a little poo up there, but it's fine. It's gonna look really nice with all little different accessories mixed with them. And you get a packet of four. I believe they're 6 dollars I will write that in the description box below. And then for $1.99, how cute is this little pumpkin? So there's a little pumpkin wooden sign, and I thought we could paint this and write our own little sign and stuff on it and have it next to the like, chopping boards. It would look really cute, and it's proper wood as well. 100% um, wood from Well Managed Forest. So I thought that was really sweet. It looks a bit like an apple as well. So I've got that. 
try not to hiccup, I need my water. I try not to hiccup on the camera and I'm like, no, 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 try to talk through it and I'm just not managing very well. Let's still take a deep breather to get back, guys. Oh, oh that's actually really nice and relaxing. Oh. <laughs> so let's get in now to the second part, so the hot third part Rosie stop trying to show off your counting skills when you obviously not very good at it and um, so the home bargain section of the video and um, so when I went in there so Millie has got a double bed now um, and I want to get her a few different sets of sheets so that I can change at least two sets so that when one's off one can be on and um, so I wanted to get some fitted sheets and some pillowcases and I found that these are really good quality and they also wash up really nice but they're super cheap and um, so I picked up a, pa a double pack in like their blush pink um, they're new and improved quality, soft, easy care, bed linen. These don't really need ironing either. They say they're like, they don't say they're not iron, but literally once they're on one day, they just don't need ironing. Um, so we've got the fitted sheet. These were $4.99 for a double size. I don't know what they are for a single or a king, um, but for a double, they're $4.99, which I thought was really good. And they're their home collection set. And then I've got the matching pillowcases, so two pack pillowcases. Oh, the, the, this says non iron. Oh, it does say non iron. Silly me, that's why they're non iron because they are non iron. I was like, this is a secret. You can get them, they're non iron, but they just don't say that they're non iron. And they do say that they're non iron, and you're just an idiot, Rosie. Um, <laughs> so these are just the housewife pillowcases, like the plain square ones. They're not the Oxford ones with big fancy edging on them, um, but they're only $1.99. So these are going to be underneath her duvet set pillars that come with a duvet set. So I picked that up. The next thing I picked up was this. I need to get my receipt. I say I've got all my receipts here. I've put it on the table. I haven't actually got it in front of me. So how much <laughs> was this? Right, come on, Rosie. Pull yourself together. So this was £3.49. I thought this was amazing. So I did show one of these a few months back, and it was one that I've got for my niece's birthday. So it come out so well, so lovely. I've actually gone and got one again. So £3.49 for Millie's birthday. It's a balloon arch, and it comes in all the pastel colours. Now, these can be really expensive if you get someone to do them. And we do have family members that do do this as well. And I understand if it's stress-free, you pay and it gets done. But if you want to have that sort of look and on a budget, £3.49, they also do the bright colours as well. And I think they do like a gold and white, like wedding-y type one. They had this one in stock. It's approximately 290 centimetres, the arch once you make it up. It includes a balloon pump, which is amazing and 54 pastel coloured balloons. There's a few glittery ones in there as well. I thought this was really, really good. So I'm gonna be putting this out for Millie's birthday and £3.49, you can't really go wrong for that, can you? So I picked that up. I also picked up while I was in there. So it's Millie's birthday and coming up and what I like to do is, by the time you see this, it might be my birthday, yes actually, because I'm filming this a few days in advance. Um, which I don't normally do, but because I've bought these bits and some of them I use, I thought I might as well film it and show you because we all know that I'm gonna start putting them away in the kitchen doing my prep meals. So I've actually pre-made a video. Give me a little clap because I'm normally so disorganized. Um, but Millie's birthday's coming up, or it's been, whatever. <laughs> I like to make get a few little wrap-up presents. Um, so I thought she's really into like face masks and slime and random stuff little girls have been to. She's going to be 10. Um, so I thought these were really cute. So you get five facial sheet masks, just as a little wrap up. Um, and a different scent, you get berry, peach, watermelon, strawberry and pineapple. Well, they're all the different ones. $3.99 and they are really beautiful colours. And what I thought I might do with these actually is for her birthday party is get another packet of these and sort of open them and put the individual ones in their party bags because kids just love this kind of stuff and then maybe like some like body glitter and you know they do such cheap stuff in home bargains bath bombs that kind of stuff that they love so I thought that was really really good pick those up and what else did I pick this I say it was my favorite last thing this is my favorite as it is hot chocolate season you are going to need to get yourself some of these I cannot believe I've got them. I've got two big tubs because I thought I'm going to need these for the hot chocolates coming up. Ready shaved chocolate curls. Now, obviously, you can have these all year round on ice creams and cakes and whatever. They are milk, dark and white chocolate. I'm not going to lie, though. I'm failing to see the dark chocolate in here. They say dark chocolate. It's literally like a thousand milk and white 
and then one dark chocolate. So there isn't hardly any dark chocolate in here, which is probably a good thing because I know not a lot of people like dark chocolate. I know some people love it. I really love dark chocolate, but I know it's not normally the best sellers, is it? These are £1.49 and you get 200 Oh, that's why right. milk chocolate, 25% minimum. I was saying, oh, I don't think that's the sizing. I think I'm reading it wrong. 270 grams of this. So these are going to be when you have the whipped cream and I'm going to get a little wooden scoop and I'm just going to put them on top of the hot chocolate. So I've got a little tub ready for marshmallows, but I've unloaded one of the tubs into one of my, I think these ones are home, home bargains, one of the ones that you can't put in the oven, but they're in, my, one of my little tubs and I've had one of them labels that I said from that label lady. Um, she isn't called the label lady. Her name is Paper and Ink Company. So I've just got flakes written on there. So these are the hot chocolates. Lovely, it's gonna go in the cupboard where we have all the teas and the syrups and stuff and the marshmallows for the hot chocolate. And we've got our chocolate flakes and I've got a spare one to put away in the cupboard for when these, I dare say, will run out. Um, so I thought they were really, really good for hot chocolate season. Now, I know that this is Christmas type, but I wanted to show you anyway because it's been the case. So when I showed all the pumpkins before on my home bargains haul, so many have sold out so quickly. I think I want to just give you a quick tip, though, because I think a lot of you go in there and you say there's not enough stock for everybody. I think some people catch on that they're very, very, very popular items and they will go in there and buy them and sell them on eBay and Etsy, etc., different places for like... £20 when they paid £1.99 for them, for example. Um, sorry, I'm, <laughs> I've got to slow down. Um, but it's really, really hard because if you want to get some of the bits and it's quite frustrating, you shouldn't really be having to spend £20, £30 for something that everyone else has got for £1.99, £3.99. So the glass pumpkin sold out. But I do want to give you a little tip. If you ever are in home bargains and there's something that you're looking for, and this applies to any of the shops, always ask them when their next delivery is because... If it is a popular item and you're going there every single day in the morning, they might not have had a new delivery since then. And if everything's sold out on the first day on the shelf, they would restock that if they had them out the back. Um, so always ask when their next delivery date is and then you can get there early. I would always get there for store opening time if you can. If you can't, always ask a member of staff if you can kindly have one put aside. They may not want to. But they may, if you explain that you've got to go to work and you can't pick it up, maybe even pay for the good. I don't know. If you could just say, like, could you let me know they're in stock? Maybe leave your phone number. It may be okay. These are just little tips. Um, and I do this in charity shops as well, like when they put out their new stock on the floor. So in the charity shops, they get loads of stuff donated and they tend to, like, one of my good ones is on a Thursday. Thursday morning, they restock everything again. But they don't stop all the rest of the week. So it is worth asking and then you could perhaps get your hands on some of these items. Um, but anyway, let's get into this. Because everything that's popular does sell out quickly, I thought I'd show you these because I'm not sure if these are going to be one of them things. I find Christmas stuff does go quite quickly in home bargains as well. So these are only 99p and these are going to go into the kids' Christmas Eve boxes. Um, I thought these are really good. You get 35 grams of assorted gold chocolate coins. But they come in these lovely little tins. So they've got a fairy option, which I picked up for Millie. Um, obviously, the baby will be here, but he won't be eating chocolate. So it'd be a bit wasteful getting one for him. Um, but milk chocolate coins. And I thought they were really cute. And they can keep these tubs after as little decorations. They've got like the little string on them. And I've got the boys, the little nutcrackers. Now, I thought the nutcrackers were gorgeous. And I have traditional trees. So I could always keep these afterwards and fill them with little surprise snacks. We've got a few refillable baubles that we've got on our tree that we know that um, the naughty elves sometimes put treats in as their little nighttime thing that they do. So that's just a little tip. So that's what I thought I'd show you these. These are 99p, you get all gold coins in them as well. So I thought they were really good and you can keep them afterwards. And I also picked up for Millie. So she loves crafting. Let's find washi tape. So washi tape in some of the craft stores or like the range or, you know, the works, they're normally really cheap in the works, but washi tape is ridiculously dear and they're like little thin strips of it and Millie loves doing scrapbooking. She's got a little Polaroid type camera that she like puts pictures of her friends and stuff in this scrapbook and she loves doing it. Like if she goes out on a special day, she'll take a picture and put it in her book and it's nice to have washi tape to sort of stick the pictures in, like nice pattern tape. 
but they're really expensive other places. So I picked these up for Millie. So you get five rolls in each packet and each roll is five meters long, which I think is really good. You get different patterns, like you get like, um, it's called to Terrazzo print, stripe rose gold, marble effect. These are 79p for a packet. So I got a blue packet of these. I've got this pink packet. I got the silver metallics and I also got the gold metallics for her because while they're that cheap, I thought I might as well put them away. She can put them in a little craft trolley and then she can do her scrapbooking and stuff with her friends. Um, and they're good for card making and stuff as well, like presents when present wrapping. So I thought I'd show you them as well because I thought they were really good. And lastly, <laughs> I might as well show you these. These are from Home Bargains or Hobbycraft or Ikea, but I picked these up for baby George. So you might have heard me say it before. We're calling him George. We don't know if we're actually calling him George, but Alfie just went, is baby George all right? One day and stroked my belly. <laughs> I was like, George, what are you on about? He was like, yeah, I like George Albert or Albert George. That's his name. And Al he's just literally just been calling him George the whole time. Um, so <laughs> apparently it's baby George. Um, I think it's because he likes watching Curious George. I'm not sure where it's come from. So that isn't actually a name reveal or a name drop, by the way. It's just one of our little private jokes. So, because I could edit this out. If it was generally his name, I could actually edit this out so that you don't know it or whatever. It ain't, ain't slip up. I'm very aware that I've been saying it. Um, but these are for baby George. <laughs> so it's just nice for him to have a pregnancy name. Regardless of what his name's going to be here on the earth, while he's in my belly, he's got a name. Um, so I picked up these hats from Next. So these are from Choice. So we've got a retail park that sells Choice. So they're like X Next, sometimes X Marks and Spencers. It depends, but it's mostly Next. Um, these hats are not to free. They were originally five pound. They went down to two pound in there, and then they had a twenty five percent off offer for one pound fifty. So I thought for winter, not to three months. How cute are these little hats? I've got him this one, and I got him. This one, this is so Christmassy. This was meant to be six pound and I've got 150 as well. I've actually got a knitted red romper at 0 3 as well. That I think we'll go with it at the same time. So we'll have a very festive wrapped up Christmas baby. Oh, I'm so excited, but one pound 50. Cause I know some people that watch my channel, they're local to me and, or they have a choice local to them, if that makes sense. There's a few of these knocking about choices. And um, you get down there and have a little look and see if you can get a little, other hats because they're just really really cute so i'm really out of breath i can't imagine my videos are going to get any less um any less heavy breathing for the next month <laughs> they're just going to get worse guys and um, so you might want to skip it out and skip it to the tired zone when i'm just like a newborn baby crazy no sleep living off of tea with caffeine in it um but yeah so sorry if i'm so out of breath in this i'm just very heavily pregnant now and I'm going to go and rest and have a nice cup of tea and just relax. So hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Take care, guys. See you later. Bye.